Five years ago today, I broadcasted for the first time from the commodity of my bedroom when I called Guadalupe Radio. Guadalupe Radio, uh, the first broadcast was approximately two hours long and had 37 listeners. Today, Guadalupe Radio broadcasts 24-7 and has roughly 11,000 listeners a day. We've created extensions donating to orphanages. We've created extensions like this reaching out to uh, English-speaking community. So I want to thank each and every one of you, each person who watches, each person who listens, each person who donates. More significantly, every person who prays for us. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Quite ironically, Guadalupe Radio is centered on the new evangelization which was widely proclaimed by John Paul II. John Paul II developed this concept of the new evangelization to all peoples. The same day that Guadalupe Radio began, John Paul the Great died. He was truly an extraordinary man. John Paul II was elected uh, Pope in 1978, the year of the three popes. In August of 1978, uh, Pope Paul VI died. Then uh, John Paul I was elected and he died. And finally, in October of 1978, John Paul II was elected Pope. Uh, he was one of the longest reigning uh, uh, popes uh, ever. You know, he was one of the longest to hold the Petrine office. He held it almost 27 years, from 1978 to his death in 2005. Now, if that's not enough, you know, he had the plate of two popes who had just died that he had to carry on. In addition, by the age of 20, Karol uh, Wuchtilwa at the time still was uh, completely orphaned. His mother died, his siblings died, and by the age of 20, finally, his, his, uh, his father died as well. So he, you know, grew up in this environment without uh, much of his family throughout uh, the majority or throughout his whole adult life. You know, his father was dead, his mother was dead, and all of his siblings were dead. Not only that, but he was brought up and he lived in a Nazi-occupied Poland. Uh, he attended an underground seminary and was ordained secretly. In addition to this, uh, there was a uh, John Paul was uh, extremely intrigued by uh, you know literary uh, text, poetry, whatnot, plays. John Paul II has really been an extraordinary man in my life, in my own life. Uh, especially, he has reached into the the depths of my my mind and heart uh, in the concept of the new evangelization, which I think is the uh, primary, or at least the biggest. Uh, reason to why uh, Guadalupe Radio was started, you know. So John Paul really was uh, one of my greatest inspirations, if not uh, the greatest inspiration. Oh, yeah.